All right, example three. A window washer pushes his scrub brush up a vertical window here at a constant speed by applying a force F. The brush weighs 10 newton and the coefficient of kinetic friction is 0.125. Calculate the magnitude of the force and the normal force exerted by the window on the brush. Right? So in this case, firstly, we have to extract the information like, as usual. Uh, so we have the brush when your weight, which is 10 newton, and then the kinetic friction, which is 0.125 coefficient of kinetic friction. And then it mentioned in the question that the brush is moving at a constant speed. So what does a constant speed tells us? It tells us about the acceleration being zero. Okay, so then we can now calculate. Uh, do the free body diagram draw the free body diagram of the brush so the brush has a weight of 10 newton so there's weight here and then there's a force going about at this direction and then we have the kinetic friction as well coefficient of kinetic friction so this is the frictional force and then we have a normal force by the window to the brush. So N is pointing here. Okay, wait. Is it my cat? Right. Now, what else do we have? We have the angle. Yes, the angle. Let's try draw it here. Here is the 50 degree angle. Um, 50 degree uh, what else uh, yeah so this is the free body diagram okay now let's try and solve this so we have force um, x component and then y component okay so the force are uh, f N, W, and F, K. Okay, so F, resolve there, F cos 50 degree. Y component there is F sine 50 degree. And then we have N in the X component, tapi negative N. And then Y there, 0. W there, ada di uh, Y component saja, So, M, G negative mg sebab it is pointing downwards fk is the same negative fk okay boleh ah um what else yes that's basically it now we know that the brush moves at constant speed so ma is equal to zero lah okay so for x component total f at x, x is equal to zero so we have f cos 50 degree minus n equal to zero so n here is equal to f cos 50 degree okay so this is our equation one and then we look at the y component total f at y is equal to zero so we have f sine 50 degree minus mg minus fk equal to zero okay so from here we can let f sine 50 degree minus 10 minus mu k n equal to zero okay so this is your equation two now we can substitute one into two so we have f sine uh, f is the one we are looking for right so f sine 50 degree minus 10 minus mu k is given and is f cos 50 degree equal to zero and then so uh come substitute jala the values and you'll then get force equal to 14.6 newton all right and the next one we have to find the normal force so we can use equation one 
where n is equal to f cos 50 degree so our value of normal force is 14.6 times cos 50 degree equal to 9.39 newton okay so this is how you solve for example number three